Hi, everyone. Good afternoon. Thank you very much for attending this week's webinar. My name is Jackson Soames. I'm an associate in the Rochester office. And this week, I talked about um, Marriott's settlement with the FTC regarding um, a series of data breaches that first occurred back in November of 2015. Um, and that happened when Marriott first acquired um, Starwood Hotels and Resorts worldwide. Now, for the next couple of years, uh, Marriott suffered uh, two additional data breaches, according to the FTC, in which more than 339 million customer records um, globally were accessed by hackers and bad actors, um, including more than 5 million unencrypted passport numbers. Now, as part of the FTC settlement order, Marriott agreed to overhaul its data privacy security system, um, including um, you know, new training for um, staff regarding data privacy security, um, developing an incident response plan, developing data access controls, the use of multi-factor authentication for remote access, um, in addition to encrypting certain personal data. Now, in addition to all that, um, Marriott will have to um, have its security system reviewed by a third party every other year for the next 20 years, as well as annually certify that it's in compliance with the FTC settlement order. Um, and in addition, the FTC will, uh, has agreed to um, certain data minimization efforts and can only retain the personal information of its customers for as long as it's necessary to fulfill the purpose for which that data was initially collected. Um, and as I mentioned in the webinar, um, Marriott also agreed to settle with uh, 49 states attorneys general um, related to um, an action brought by the different states um, in which they agreed to pay a $52 million fine. Um, but the um, class action involving the data breaches is still ongoing. And I encourage all of you to um, watch this week's webinar. I think you'll find it very insightful. Thank you very much and have a good day.